First pitch of the game is roped out to left center. This ball is carrying, and it one hops the wall. It's a leadoff double for Zach Whitaker. Good start for the Highlanders. And, and that's something like you just mentioned too, Evan. Against Virginia Tech. They wanted to bounce back today. And here's the possibility of a bunt. Did they hit the foot of Shoemaker? A fitting name when you want a hit-by-pitch call here. Pansion, the true freshman, who goes after the first pitch, and that's snagged. Infield single as Green knocks it down. Well, what an ideal start. Two hits, a hit-by-pitch, and the bases are loaded. Yeah. In two. And a walk. Radford strikes first. What an ideal start for the Highlanders. Lose by 15 yesterday to Virginia Tech, and a run already in with no one out. Yeah, absolutely. And he drills one to the right side. Good snag at second by Harrison. And that is in time. The run scores, so it's 2-0 Radford. And, that, and that's a tough play to make. Ball in the 3-4 hole, kind of relatively hard hit ground ball. Moore drills one off the glove of Britton. The only play is to first, so it's 3-0 Radford. And we talked about it. Bases loaded, nobody out. Radford 2-2 is rocketed to right. That'll stay in the park for Candelaria. After Radford scores three runs on two hit. So a walk to lead off the third for Harrison. And now a bunt attempt laid down by Candelaria. That's a good one. And the throw pulls off the first baseman, Gilmore. You know, and to be honest, if that's a throw that's going to keep first base on the bag, Green goes down on the slider. That's a great breaking pitch. And the first, or sorry, the second strikeout for Williams. Runner. Runners take off. And that ground ball gets through. Smart decision by Harris, and he scores. And NC State on the board with the RBI single. You know, that's a 3-1 pitch. Normally, you, if, if you're going to make contact on that, you want to try and square it up. But I mean, stuff. Runner. Runners take off, and that's a hit by pitch. So the bases are loaded with one out. Okay. And gives up a ground ball. Good snag by Levere. This throw to first escapes the threat. It's a tough swing out of the zone, and Henry gets a base hit. Third hit for the Highlanders today. You know, and I'd like to see him start to actually maybe mix in more breaking ball or off. One, two. He's nubbed in front of the plate. This is a difficult play, and everyone's safe on the infield single. Got him swinging. Runner takes off. Both get 90 feet. And if you're Radford, you almost take that trade off. Two. Misses. And the bases are loaded. That wasn't even close. Breaking ball drilled into the gap. And Tibbs delivers two runs for the Highlanders. It's 5-1 to one on the RBI single. Nelson kind of left that ball up. And, I mean, even though Tibbs is a freshman, he, he's able to kind of extend that bat and take it the other way. Ball kind of crossed the plate right over the belt. Look at that dugout reaction. This is a team that lost by 15 runs yesterday, Virginia Tech, a re-energized group. Well, that hit really, you know, it provided a spark, and that's going to keep that, that, that momentum high, essentially. A Radford team picked dead last in the Big South entering the year. Looking. Runners break. This ground ball will only get one as Groover makes a nice play. It's 6-1 to one Radford on the Whitaker ground out. Did he go? Yes, he did. Heifel, three quality pitches. A great fastball up right there. In the top. He gives up a line drive to center. That gets past Whitaker. It'll roll to the wall. Harrison has wheels. Harrison looking for three. He holds with a late off triple. Good stab at third. The only play to first, and that is just in time. It does make it 6-2, NC State on the RBI ground down. Hard hit ball to the left side, definitely did his job scoring the runner. Hits. And Grover drills the first pitch. Tracing back, and that gets past Peyton Henry. 
A sharp double for Groover. That's his second double of the year. For a two out base hit. Slow roller. Nice scoop and short. Better throw to first by Shoemaker to end the inning. In the season, because I, I always feel like. Yeah, that ball sneaks through a leadoff single for Zach Whitaker. I always feel like it's easier to take a starter or someone that has longer stamina, higher stamina dur durability, and put them in the bullpen box. And he rips a base hit. Clearly it took the time he needed. So a two-out single for Rojas. It's his first hit of the day. Line drive. Candelaria has it fall in front. Here comes the runner to the plate, and Radford takes advantage. Back-to-back -back hits with two outs, and it's 7-2 to two Highlanders. On 0-2, gets the swing and a miss. Good tag behind the plate to end the inning. Not before Radford strikes for one and a two-out RBI single. It's time to stretch here at Dokefield to Dill. Add to those numbers for the leadoff walk. I think what just happened really changed the dynamics of, of the game right now, going in that right now. Takes ball four. Back-to-back -back walks to start the inning. And, and you Line to left. This is deep. Three-run homer for Peyton Green. Come up in a big spot right here. It's going to change the dynamics of the game. I mean, that's the sign right there of a mature batter right there. Fourth home run for Green. And he's all of a sudden with 18 RBI, one of the best hitters in the country. And this is what you don't want. You don't want State to get hot in a position like this. I mean, you just basically had a five-run lead stretched to a, you know, shrunk into a two-run lead, and you have your three-hole who... A 3-2. Three did he go? He did not. A big take. Ball four. Now he rips a base hit for the right side. Grover comes in to score. It's a one-run game in the seventh. And this is when you really have to start to think just strategically if you're Radford. I mean, you see... Bunt. Wait, is he over the plate? Did he go? That's a hit by pitch. Ground ball fair. Jacob Pozard catches him in. There's one. The go ahead run. Polali. And NC State's back in front. I think right there, you know, that, that's perfectly placed too. That's right down the line. That's way it's too far out of the first baseman's range. I mean, couldn't have asked for a better placement on that hit. Almost scored three runs, actually. I mean, they heart held, heart held souls at third base. But I mean, you could have argued that might have been a relatively close play at the plate, but could have scored souls. Still got two out of that, though. Two. Popped up. Henry gives chase. He has room to make the catch. Souls tags and scores. It's 9-7 NC State. You know, if you ask me, that's one of the better at-bats that I've, I've personally seen this offensive half inning. Grounded to the mid of Rouse. And shovels it to first in the inning. NC State. Line drive to right. This ball's got a chance, and it is off the wall. Quickly in by Moore. Play it second, safe. It's a great hard hit. He's got one of the best arms in the Big South, and Serrano gets plunked. And the 2-2, caught him swinging with a slider. Big second out. Here we go. gets the swing with a breaking ball. And that ends the inning. Confirmed over third by Joe Blumenauer. Pancione hits. And he goes down on the slider. One quick out. Goes down, swing, and second out. He 
does with a breaking ball. Justin Lawson helps NC State start 9-0. This time in comeback fashion with a seven-run seventh inning.